My name is Amanda and I'm 20 years old. I'm a child psychology major at the University of Minnesota. My name is Rebecca Lopez. I am 22 years old and I'm studying visual perception development in infants. Well, I was taking a class with Al and he had talked about directed research and it sounded like something I wanted to get more involved in and I stopped in the lab and I was able to talk to people that were already working in the lab and I got really excited about being able to participate in it. What I really like about research is being able to find answers to questions that I don't know, maybe that others haven't been able to find yet, or to be able to confirm what others have found and see for myself how things came to pass. Working in the lab has made me more interested in research and has, it just makes me want to um, learn how I can continue doing research in areas that I'm interested in and bring what I learned in the lab to areas that I want to study more. What we're trying to find out in the study that I'm doing right now is if infants can perceive the inside of a face or inside of a mask as being closer to them than the outside, which actually is. It's just an illusion. By using the way that the baby reaches for the different parts of the mask, we are going to see if they think that the nose would be farther away from them or if it would be closer to them. At this point, we haven't had so much success in determining the difference between babies looking with one eye or two, but we're still trying. We've had babies reaching so far, but they have been reaching for the outside of the mask, which would be what was closest to them. We're trying to find when infants first use depth perspective to um, tell size constancy and we have two side-by-side -side images of the ducks and one appears as if it's getting smaller as it moves away and larger as it gets closer which is what you would expect to happen if it was moving farther away from you and getting closer to you and then the other duck is getting larger as it moves away and smaller as it gets closer which is what you would not expect to happen and so we're recording which image the infants are looking at and we would expect the infants to look longer at the unusual image. What we found out so far is that infants over 16 weeks are able to use perspective to tell whether which picture is unusual because they'll look slightly longer at the picture that you would find unusual which is the one where the ducky appears to be getting bigger as it's moving away. I think that students should sign up for directive research because it's a great way to be part of a team of people who care about the same things that they care about, find out answers to the questions that they can put forward. Um, it's a great way to learn without being in a classroom and a setting, in a lab setting, being able to be right there doing the actual work instead of just reading about it in a book. I think it's also great because with that experience you can put that on your resume for any sort of graduate school, medical school, any post um, undergrad that you'd want to be doing. I definitely think that child psychology students should get into directed research because they have the opportunity to actually get hands-on experience with research and um, get experience that they wouldn't get in the regular classroom setting.